welcome back to Belt Spots and Beyond. My name is Diablo, and today, well, <clears throat> I have an announcement to make. You know how we built this nice block here to make green chips in, and you know, we we're gonna do a third block, a second block, and a third block, and yeah. I just spent uh, about four, or four and a half hours um, figuring out how to make it all work, and I'm gonna do something completely different. Um, I need to make absolutely perfect use of the amount of uh, iron and copper that we are going to be having iron is not going to increase copper as I said is going to get an extra block with a few extra smelters um, so we have about 16 extra belts of copper going in uh, which we desperately need but uh, much more importantly we need to stretch with the design that I have built we need to stretch the amount of, let's just, for instance, say iron, uh, from 69 belts to uh, about 130. Uh, because I have about a one-to-one -one ratio where I put one belt of stuff in and one belt of stuff comes out. Now, that's not entirely fair because the belt is not being used optimally. So it, it will stop occasionally. Um, that gives me overflow. And that allows me to um, do some extra work uh, with the materials that I then have left over. However, to get all of that up and running and in the right place became a horrible nightmare to get some of these... Um, iron belts to go here and some of them to go there and maybe I can do three rows so maybe I need something in the middle but then I also need to get over uh, get some copper over here and here and here but then I also need to get them to the second block wherever that was going to be and the third it was a nightmare now it's still a nightmare because it's just a ginormous build um, but I think I found a way to make it a little bit less of a nightmare ish Bear with me, please. Unfortunately, to start everything off, I have to clear as much of this, you know, stuff out of here as I can. Because I need a lot of room. I need a lot of room to work. It's like ridiculous amounts of room to work. I don't need fishes, by the way, so don't give me fishes. Thank you. There's going to be a lot of boxes around here with... Uh, wood around with wood in it which i'm probably gonna blow up at some point um or just stuff in a train somewhere i don't know uh for now however i need to get rid of most of this stuff and fill in most of this lake where are you okay oh there's lots and lots there you know what i can i think i can skip that bit for a moment uh let's just get rid of this and let's just do rocks and trees only. Um, everything that's in the way of this machine. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, sure. Help out. I hope the other the other robots would help out. That would be nice. Um, the rest will be done. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh, nope, nope. All right, well, if they're... Hang on. Where are you? Come on. Thank you. Oh, where are you doing? All right, are we done? Good. Here we go. I'll do... No, I need, I, I need some dirt first, because I need a lot of room. Trust me, I need a lot of room. All right, here we go. Uh, I, I'm not going to do that. Obviously, that was just for measurements. So I'm going to take that away. Away, away. There we go. All right. 
It's still going to be a massive amount of work to do what I need to do. But it's going to be a lot less chaotic this way than doing three separate blocks um, with three separate inputs and outputs. And ugh. It just, it, it was a nightmare to do it that way. With these numbers, with these amounts of input and amounts of uh, uh, product that you're creating, um, it all really comes down to the margins. It all really comes down to what's behind the uh, the decimal line. You know what's behind the uh, the um, uh, you know below zero or whatever. I can't I can't think of the name now. Um, wait, I need to. I'll put this one there and put all my wood in there because I I'm going to need lots and lots of uh, dirt. Um, yeah, it comes down to the minutia, to the very tiny numbers that need to be perfectly aligned. Um, and hence, I've had to do a lot of calculating, a lot of thinking about how can I fix things so that it actually works with the amount of um, input I'm getting. Because remember, I'm building a lot of iron, 69, or, um, 96... Uh, blue belts worth of iron constantly that's a lot of iron and yet it's not enough to well it is enough to do what i want but i have to divide that amount among a certain number of belts so you'll see it <laughs> i know it's confusing but uh it'll it'll be worth it i hope uh what i'm gonna do is i'm going to put down a box right here and I'm just going to go like this. Okay, I'm going to put down another box right there. I'm going to go like that. Because I want to have, I want this to go as quickly as possible, obviously, for obvious reasons. So I can actually show you what I've, you know, thought up and thought about. And, uh, perfect. Okay, so that's a shit ton, as they say. But to, in order to show you, I will have to make some room first. And yes, I know, I can show you the blueprint. I could show you the blueprint, but I don't want to. Not before I've actually made enough room to do so. And yes, it is big. Hence me doing this. Alright. I'll try and make it as quickly as uh, as quick as possible. Obviously, okay, that's good. I might probably, I might just miss one or two, you know, uh, water filly in parts like I've done before, <laughs> for lack of a better term, or rather, to use the worst term possible. Um, But honestly, I just want to do this as fast as possible. Ah. Okay, so I can do a lot of filling in with um, with a, an entire backpack full of dirt. Which is quite nice, quite nice indeed. I'll take from this side now, so that when the train comes back... Does it actually come? No, it doesn't. Uh, Oh, yes, it does. Wait, how did it just arrive here? Oh, I see. It goes all through all. Yes. That's fine. This is dirt three. Yes. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, I was full. Yes. Yes. Good. So it goes on a journey around the world. But that, honestly, I don't care about. As long as it comes back with a belly full of dirt, because I am going to need... An intense amount, an obscene amount, I would even suggest to say. Um, I'm going to go all the way over here. I'm not going to do anything with nuclear or steam or anything like that over here. So I'm just going to go like this. Oops. All right, here we go. I think we are about there. Thank you. All 
right. I'll just empty out. Thank you. Uh, I'll just empty out this particular belly full of dirt. Oops. There we go. Alright, let's see how far we get with this amount of clearance. First off, we need to get to the other side. Uh, we need to get to the other side and we need to do it cleanly. So I think we're going to use this technique that we've uh, already uh, discovered here. These two can go, so I'm just going to go like this, that when I arrive... Ooh, wow, okay. Uh, those, these are going to be taken away automatically. I don't have any of my stuff, so I'm going to go over here, grab a new one, and go like that. Yeah, I think so. Was this fixed already? Wait, why was this not fixed? Did I not fix this? I only oh no wait did I oh no oh that's horrible I didn't fix this I need to fix all of this you know what fix wait why am I not typing eh fix uh, undergrounds at smelting areas um, underneath tracks middle part not symmetrical is that how you spell symmetrical? I have no idea, but I'm just going to leave it like that. Oops. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to save it. All right. Fix undergrounds. It's smelting areas underneath tracks. Middle part, not symmetrical. All right. Uh, if and when... Export, import. Ah. If and when we do another multiplayer live stream, somebody can fix that for me. I don't want to do that right now. However... That does mean we are not going to copy that one. We are going to copy this one. Yes. Mm, although this is not 96, so that's a problem, but we'll fix that in post. <clears throat> there we go. Well, it's something, right? I don't want any of the tracks. Thank you very much. Let's find out what we can do with this. Shit. Yeah, I mean, shoot. Um, so that's where it's supposed to go. I don't like the fact that there's like extra bits everywhere. Mm, so I think what I'll do is if I erase this one. Because um, this one's nice and neat and tidy. And, you know, it fits. So I think I'm going to use this one. Because it's also the size that I actually need. Um, and it's perfectly... Uh, well... Hmm. We might need to do something about that, though. We'll find out. We'll find out. We'll find out. Okay, so if we use this... Uh, up here... Oops, let's check out that that's correct, like this. Yes. Okay, so that would cause that to happen. Would I mind that to happen? I don't rightly think so. I can move the radar up a little bit. Um, the only thing I would have a problem with... Is the position of the part there? Nah, that's oh look at that! It even connects to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have to do this. We have to do this. 
and then we take out that one, we take out that one, we take out that one. Come on. Are we part of the build area? Well, we're halfway part of the build area for that one. That's good because that means that I can freely, oops, I pressed X at some point, um, take out this um, and do that and do that and then go whoosh and fix it in one instance. Very nice. Very nice indeed. All right. I'm hoping slash guessing robots are coming to actually place down power poles and undergrounds and all that kind of jazz. Um, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I, I, I believe in them. So there's a box of stuff somewhere out there. Right. Now that we've got that, um, let me show you actually what I've built. Uh, so uh, this is called the Massive Overflow Balancer 60, uh, 48 to 69. And what it basically <laughs> what it basically does is it takes in 48 belts and overflow and balances them. Uh, oops, wait for that. Um, to 69 belts. I'm giggity, as uh, Rudy from uh, Alpha Investments would say. Um, so it not only um, takes whatever stoppage a belt has and turns that stoppage into an overflow onto an extra belt, uh, basically a four to one to start with, and then an eight to one, uh, or sorry, yeah, an eight to one uh, after that. Um, it also balances that all out. Now, I'm not entirely sure that this works the way I want it to because I honestly haven't been able to fully test it. Um, but hey, it looks cool. So what I need to do is I need to split out these four. Oh, by the way, before I forget to tell you, um, we're going to build a massive fact, just one massive factory right here. Uh, why am I doing that? <coughs> Again, as I said, it was a nightmare getting uh, all these belts full of stuff onto the right spots. Uh, over here, over there, over there. It was just getting this one block to work was nightmare enough. Uh, so I thought, why not keep it simple? And I need, I need all this iron anyway just for green. Not for red, not for blue, just for green. So after this block... No iron is needed. Any iron that's left over, quote unquote, we can have a little train station somewhere here and use that as an iron uh, plate uh, pickup station if if so desired. Uh, we will need some extra, as again, as I've said, some extra um, copper lanes, but. Uh, also there, it is easier to make a crisscross around, uh, around here and then just have lines going down feeding the individual factories than it would be to do 48 belts there, 48 belts there, whatever. It's easier this way. So we're going to build a massive centralized factory. That's the point of the story. All right. Well, I see that the robots definitely did something. That is good. I also need to do something. I need to figure out what the best placement for these things are right now. Because I need, I want to have, you know, all my nearly 100 belts connected to something here. Uh, but I think I want to go to the side as much as possible um, to make it possible for me to you know, work in the middle as much. Because I'm going to need a lot of room. I'm just, I'm going to need a whole lot of room. And I hope, and I really don't even know for sure, but I hope I'm going to make it fit. But we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Um, 
that in turn, uh, this placement in turn is uh, dictated by the factory, it's the placement of the first factory itself. Now the lowest I can go, because I want to keep this bulge right here, the lowest I want to go with a belt, uh, which would be copper going that way, is, you know what, actually I'm going to keep one, one space there. Uh, if I'm going to go big, I might as well go stupidly big, so I'm going to go two spaces there. So this is the highest technically I want to go. This is where you know, our, our first, whoops, our first copper is gone, going to flow to the left. Um, if we take this as a measuring stick, this is our top left uh, copper. Uh, that, and maybe I'm going to go, I'm, I'm, maybe I need to go even lower, but that will be determined by how many belts I need. Now, I'm going to need about, I'm, I want to build four rows of um, factories. Let me show you that real quick in, in in a tiny version of that. So we get, let's say, two iron in, two copper in. Then we get, I uh, don't have a factory. You know what? You are as big as a factory, so I don't care. Um, and again, of course, remember, there's uh, beacons and everything around it. But let's just, for instance, say this is a factory. So we feed in from there then we get uh, a belt out from that factory but we also get one from this side right um, then we can uh, do I have something that's you know what a one two three one two three this is also oops this is also a factory now this factory also needs one two three four inputs I might do two steps in there, but it's just a representation, okay? Um, yes. Then we do the same thing again. So we get these same ones in here to feed this factory. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, boom. Um, so this one feeds into here. Let's just represent that by going like this. This one goes in here and everything else. And this one goes in here and with all these other belts. Uh, and this one then, of course, goes into here with these belts. Um, let's just do that. Let's make sure it's clear that we're going into the factory. And then we output these two. Um, same goes for this one. We output these. Uh, whatever, something, something, and um, do I have, yes, that means we get another factory right here. I don't have any underground, or I don't have any belts anymore, but I'll represent it with undergrounds. Um, I think you get the, the drift. So we get a massive input line in the middle, and then we get uh, two out input lines on the outside, we get two uh, massive output lines in the middle. Only this on this scale. <laughs> yes, it's going to be big. All right. Hope I hope everyone understood my meaning. I'm not sure that I made that very clear, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave that there. Um, did I not put a box? No, that's just a box of dirt. Did I just lo did did I just lose my box already? That would be awkward. Um, no, seriously, did I just lose my box? My box of stuff. Oh wow! Whew. So I had a heart attack right there. Uh, let's do. Well, that's not entirely what my intent was, but okay. And um, you. At least now I can do that. Okay. The point of this entire exercise is that I'm going to need 
Uh, what am I going to need? I'm going to need to figure out how many belts are going to go to the left and how many belts are going to go to the right and what that amount of belts is going to, how high that amount of belts is going to be. Um, and of course, after I have, uh, nope, after I have actually uh, balanced and um, overflowed them, to use a phrase. Um, oh, I still have stuff here. Sure, go ahead. I don't care. Um, I just want to place this one. Let's just uh, go like this. Okay, so am I empty now? Nice. All right, cool. Uh, that's that. Very nice. So at least I don't have to worry about that. So, in order to do that, I need to know how deep I'm, uh, my factories go. Now, I know that I'm going to have to have 132. Uh, it's a little bit less. It's 131 something. Um, green chip belts. Okay. 132 divided by 4 is actually 33. Go figure. 33 is a really, really stupid number. Because you cannot, it's, it's, it's very hard to, it's very hard to work with the number 33. I have come to find out. Um, so, let's just say we do 34. We'll make a little bit more and maybe we'll do a train station somewhere. Okay? Because I've got a little bit, a little bit extra here. Uh, so if they all work a little bit less hard, uh, you know, a little bit less optimal, I'm still producing more than enough. So that's the plan, 34. All right. Now, 34 means that uh, 34 factories, actually what I mean to say then, if I say 34 factories is 34 output belts per side, again, times 4, 132. Six. Um, no, that's not correct. Well, you know what I mean. In any case, um, that means that I'll have to have an input, because remember, we're doing a one-to-one -one input, iron and copper, or rather two-to-one input. So one iron, one copper for one belt of green chips. Um, that means if I have 34 factories, I need... 68 input belts per side. Okay? So if I walk back to my train, and we start calculating from this side. Do, 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 whoop, and we grab, well, let's grab a few. And we start calculating from this side. We go, we want to skip to. I don't know why, just because it looks nice. We do one, two, hang on, I'm starting out from 100, 68 less 100, or from 100, I should say, is uh, 30, oops, yeah, 32 left. Oops. 32 left. So this should, this should be 68, correct? Correct, perfect. Now, there is, of course, a problem with this, because, and why wouldn't there be, if I do all my belts like this, so iron and copper neatly stacked together, how the heck am I ever going to get out of here? Now, I'm going to have to do a lot with undergrounds anyway, but in the interest of, hey, might as well make it look nice, we do two extra, where we take the middle ones, so that's, now we have not 68, but 70. Yep. And we take 35, which is that one. Okay. Uh, which is then halfway. So these two can, t can go away. And now I should still have 68 with 34 on this side and 34 on that side. And now I can make a nice little bend underground and then I'll have to figure it out but that's all they're going the wrong way aren't they I knew that I knew that that was all part of my brilliant plan 
There we go. So this is what I need to send down. Okay. That means, hang on, I forgot to grab my, now I'm going to lose another whole bunch of robots probably, but that's okay. Um, I need to grab that one. I might need to grab that one as well. Do I need that one? No, I do not. All right, cool. Whoops, just barely, barely kissed it. Well, it'll come back at some point. Um, that means if I output uh, to that side, yes, I'm going to have to ch turn over the input sides. I found that turning over the uh, output sides is a little bit harder uh, just because it's, it's doing the thing with the, um, it's a little bit harder. <laughs> just accept it. Um, so the closest we can build perceivably is, uh, conceivably, sorry, is, or would be, um, from the side at least, I'm not talking about height, because that's another completely other, uh, calculation that we have to do, uh, is I'm going to turn off my robots now. There we go. Is this one, right? So sideways, not height. We don't know that yet. It might be much lower. It's probably going to be much lower, but um, um, sideways. This is the distance that we want to have. Now remember, we have a little bit of leeway with these two steps here and these two steps here. So if we need, if it comes down to it, we have four extra spaces that we can use, at least on this side. Okay, we're not going to assume that we need them, that we need them, but we might as well, you know, think about it while we're at it. Okay, this means that we also need at least, at least uh, 68 down. Why? Or did I say 68? I think I said, yes, 68. 68 down. Why? Because, well, I'm going to have to go uh, push iron in here, but I'm also going to have to push copper in here. So at least 68 right there. But the unfortunate thing is that when we get to the second and third row of factories, we have not 68, but 120 or 136 um, input rows uh, because we get 68 going into that factory and 68 going into this factory. And then all the way over here, we're going to get another 68 um, input belts going into the last row. So, Basically, what it comes down to is I want to I want to build from the middle. Yes, I'm going to be using two blocks. There's no other way to do it. I'm going to build huge. Now we know that we have uh, what was it again? Thirty? What did I say? Thirty-four copper going all the way to the other end. So we are going to at least get thirty-eight copper here, right? So that's uh, thirty-eight. Wait, let me, okay. 62. Okay, so that's 38, right? That's just the copper that's going to the uh, third, did I say 38 or 32? Okay, sorry, <laughs> I have to calculate this again. 38 is too much, it's need, it needs to be 34. Right, I forgot. No, no robots. Thirty-four, go all the way over there and down to the side. Um, however, we're also getting thirty-four in the middle to this side and thirty-four to the middle to this side. So another twice this row. Again, as I said, it's going to be huge. So there and there, right? Okay. Now these, ironically enough, 
shoot, I should have done that sooner. I forgot something. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Um, so this is the first 34. Yes. This is the second 34. That's just too, too many. So this should be perfect. Yes. All right. That means that... Uh, and I need to think about this real hard, like, uh, we don't actually have a middle, as we know, rail don't, uh, rails, rail don't want to play that way. Um, I'm going to get my box. I need one rail section. I need to know what the exact middle is, if I can, at least. Okay, so it's either that side or that side. See? Rails being a dick. Um, see, it, there is no exact middle. That's because the block itself has an exact middle. Which, again, that's interesting, though. Uh, that, well, you know what? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, that means we are going to use... This is the left side. And... Uh... Is that the turn there? Yes, I think so. Sorry, I have to think about something right now. <laughs> um, so 37, 37, 37, yes. 34 coming in. And that make the turn this way. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And then the first one that doesn't is this one so it would be like this I think all right yes I think so all right where's my blah, 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 blah. there it is um, so we would have 34 go that way I should have done that a little bit lower and 34 go that way um, so this in effect is our center uh, feed line for copper. This is going to determine everything. Uh, no, well, <laughs> ish, ish. Bear with me here. Um, so we we are getting. Just to make sure we get this, I do this right, because I think I might be doing it wrong. Um, yeah, because this one would then go there. This would be one giant corner here and this would be one giant corner here um, so to get that maybe in the picture I don't have a corner here hmm okay that's fine that's fine oh 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 uh, that's fine so this would be the first one of this one so again this would be the giant corner here and from here on out, the rest would feed into this corner. So, as you can see, we're going lower and lower and lower. However, we have a problem. Um, I need to figure out which one is the last one. Because I honestly don't know. Uh, too, too many. Okay, that's fine. So These ones will not be there. All right. We have a problem. Why do we have a problem? Uh, let's get this one. If we have belts going in this way. Do, 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 and we're having a lot of belts. So, yeah, I can do this easily like this. Of course, this one would then be pointing in the wrong direction. But I guess you knew that already. Um, Boop-bidi-boop-bidi-boop-boop-boop. And all of these as well. So this, oops, this would be our copper input. All right? Just for the middle bit and the last row. Remember the... Um, 
outer row, we can, where is it? We can just whoosh, 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 go this way. So that doesn't have to cross over. However, and here's where it gets interesting. We also need to do the same for iron going the other way. And this is where it gets really tricky. So if we do this, uh, you know what? I'm going to make it as short as I can because this is going to be ridiculari. Volare, oh. Cantare, oh. I'm almost there. I've got already way too much. Hang on. Uh, somewhere around there. All right. So that would be perfect. Um, yes, thank you very much. We'll just close this gap like that. Um, why did I keep doing that? Thank you very much. Okay, so this is massive. As you can see, this is stupidly massive. Um, and this is just the start, ladies and gentlemen. Trust me, this is just the start. This is not even everything we need to do. It is kind of scary. I'm just going to leave this corner out because, you know, it'll be okay. We'll, we'll, we, we understand what needs to be done. Um, and the rest just keeps on going. Now, how do we ensure that our um, iron line that wants to go to the, the, the exact opposite direction can actually do so? Well, we can't, you know, go at the same height because then if we go try to under, go underground here... Um, well, we can't go underground both ways with blue because we need the throughput of blue. Uh, you, you can understand that we can't do both ways in the underground system. So we'll have to clear. And that's why I said it's going to be stupidly big. We'll have to clear the horizontal belts first and then do it. do this all again for the a horizontal lines going to the right. So all in all, a massive undertaking. Um, now I've thought about going uh, skip, 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 skip with undergrounds and then just continuing. Uh, but I thought it might be just a tad easier if I go underground, 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 skip eight, underground everything. Yes, it's basically doing the same thing, but somehow that feels, I don't know, it feels easier. Um, in any case, it needs to be done. What also needs to be done, and as you can see, it's really a massive build, is we need to get this iron down, oops, here. Uh, there's a little bit of a hiccup right now because I realized I did a, I, I made a boo boo, but that's okay. Because um, I actually need copper to go in first and then iron, so cop or iron should be in the middle and not copper. Oops, my mistake, my bad. Um, but we also need, you know, the 34. Uh, in this case, iron going down. We also need the 34 copper going down, uh, with a little bit of room, of course, which we always we can always fix that. We can always you know scooch it over uh, if we don't actually have enough room for this, because that's my biggest concern right now. Meaning, this is where the iron is going to go down. Meaning, the first place we can actually build this thing, outputting to the middle is, and I'm talking about width here, not height, again, because we need to go way lower, is there. Now, do we have enough room between that one and that one to fit, what was it, uh, 34, 68, 68 uh, belts of stuff? So let me just lower this so we actually have something to compare to because uh, we're going to output 34, yes. We're going to output, oh, easily, 
Easily. We can do 90. Jesus. All right. Well, that's that's good to know. Then we might, you know, take it a little bit easier on this side and go a little bit to the middle. Uh, that makes it easier for me to get these iron lines in the correct spot on the side. You know, let's make it as compact as possible. As you can see, as you can see, I'm just barely getting enough room to do what I needed to do. So um, if we say this is the minimum amount of going side to side, right? Uh, the minimum amount. And again, because we now know we have lots of spare room, we could also do four in between like we usually do with a main belt instead of two and give ourselves a little bit more breathing room a little bit more room to work. It's all up in the air at this point anyway. Uh, yeah, and I didn't build it low enough. So this would there, and then one, two, wait. Uh, one, two, three, four, something like that. So this is where the, oh shoot. <laughs> that did not go as planned. Brr. Uh, I might as well just take out way too much. And go like that. All right. Um, so that would be the other, or this would be copper down, and this would be all iron going down. Um, but because we have to go down so far, because all of this width, all of this width, and I'll even grab a little, or a little, listen to me, a large blueprint off of it like that all of this width will have to go I can't even do that because uh, there's water in the way we'll have to go here again now how much room do we need between that we don't really care um, we're going down far anyway um, so I could do one two but I could also make it three four it doesn't really matter. We have side to side. That's where we need, you know, to calculate the room that we need. Uh, but downward, we are unlimited in the amount of space that we can use. So let's do four. I don't care. Um, so we'll do that. And we'll do one, two, three, four. There we go. So this, all the way down here, is all the iron that's going, well... Technically, this iron would end up. Technically, this row would end there, right? Because that's the, uh, or rather there, because that's the iron going in, uh, and then we get a little bit less because then the iron stops there, and then this iron goes all the way to the other side. Uh, or I might decide I do copper at the bottom and iron at the top or iron at the top and copper at the bottom as long as iron is in the middle and copper on the outsides that's fine but as you can see it's kind of a massive undertaking so although we know that this width uh, position is good the downward or the up and down position is not good yet because that would be somewhere in the vicinity of here where my factory would start um, that's almost three quarters of a block down just to get um, <laughs> just to get the belts in the right order in the right spot however and here it becomes interesting because we've been counting and I've gone over time, I know this. We've been counting with the amount of belts that we are going to need, etc., etc., with a minimum space of two right here. However, and here's where my blueprint comes in, uh, my ridiculous one. This is the space that I need for uh, downward space for doing overflow balancing. In other words, if I'm going to have a minimum row, which is the upper row there, uh, if I'm going to have a minimum row going, you know, starting somewhere, 
I'm going to have to think about this distance first. Because if I want to mm, aim this halfway here and halfway there, I need to make sure that I have enough room to make the bends po uh, necessary. Necessary, it's a difficult word. Um, to feed this thing. So, this is 48. Uh, I'm going to guess, let's say there, for now. Uh, that means I need at least uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's 12, and 5 is 17. Uh, that leaves 31 belts downward. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Okay, I'm not going to count all that out. It's about there. If I want to make that corner work, or those corners work, I should say. And that is, um, if I, can I just, I'm going to guesstimate that that is there. That means our starting line, the very first line that we can use, um, would be this one. And as you can see, that's quite a long way down from here. Now, that does not necessarily matter that much because if we are using too much iron, we can make a train station here and pick that up. Or if we're using, uh, or if we're not using enough iron and we have some over or some left over, we can use a train station here and we can do the same for copper. So that's not a bad thing to have some space up there, even if it's just for a private station. But you can see how much space I will or I am going to be needing. So that's where I'm going to end it. I'm sorry this was just an explanation video. <laughs> I haven't even built anything yet. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, I'm sorry that it's just been an explanation, but it's just, it's such a complex system and, and such a complex build that I have no other choice as to um, explain what I'm doing rather elaborately. Because uh, I didn't want to just, you know, plunk down some blueprints and not have explained what everything does or how it's going to work or why I did what I did. So, yes, it's an almost an hour of explanation, but I hope you liked it. Let me know if you didn't. Uh, but in any case, I would like to say th thank you to my patrons for supporting my channel. For supporting me, it helps, it motivates. Thank you very much. And to everyone else, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you did, subscribe to the channel, comment down below if you have any suggestions or ideas. My name is Diablo, and I will see you next time.